Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am doing a prepping for vacation. We are leaving for Disney World in two days and I have a ton of things I need to get done. But today I'm focusing on specific tasks. I'm gonna, I need to give my dogs a bath because they are going over to my mom's house. She's nice enough to watch them while we're away. So I told her I would have them all bathed and looking beautiful for her. Um, plus they just need a bath anyways because they, it's been a while. Um, so that is on my list. I also need to mop my floors. I always love to come home to a, come home to a house that smells clean and looks clean. So the floors definitely need to be mopped and I need to do a little pampering. My nails are bare and need some color. So I'm going to put some, um, gel polish on them and I will show you um, this new kit that I have been using for the last couple months and loving it. I think I've showed it before. Yes, I did show it before in a previous video, but for any of you who have not seen that video, um, I'll share with you um, what gel polish I've recently been using. And finally, I'm gonna do a little bit of packing. I'll show you some of the outfits that I have planned for the vacation, give you guys some summer outfit ideas, and also just share with you some of the things that I plan to bring um, to the Disney amusement parks with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and consider subscribing if you're new. I would love to have you. Let's get started. Are you ready for your bath? Are you ready? <coughs> Ready. Sadie, come here. So I'll start with Bella first because she takes the longest to bathe. She obviously is bigger and has more fur. But I thought I would go over a couple of the products that I use. So I always have like my little caddy of shampoos and conditioners. So everything's in one place when I am bathing the dogs. So I have um, my favorite shampoo and conditioner for the dogs is this Isle of Dogs everyday elements jasmine and vanilla scent and i love this shampoo it just leaves their fur feeling so soft like unbelievably soft and i use the shampoo in combination with the conditioner and the conditioner is also the um jasmine and vanilla scent and it smells so so good um and before i bathe them i always use a comb well what I mean to say is, of course I brush them before bathing them, but I use this particular comb. It's just a basic metal grooming comb, and I love this. It works great for detangling and getting those mats out. So I'm just, just gonna go through her right now and comb her, and any mats that I find, I like to use scissors just to kind of help on, or help to mat them. So like cut through the mat and try to unravel the mat as best I can without cutting the whole mat out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and give her a good comb over and then we will go put you in the tub. Are you ready? And she is so unbelievably good about letting me bathe her. She just is so calm and relaxed and they're just the best. Unfortunately, the hose that I typically use to bathe the dogs broke, so I need to get a replacement. But in the meantime, I've just been using this, this cup that I just keep in my caddy for the dogs. And ironically, it's a Disney cup. <laughs> and you can't forget the treats, of course. Treats are the best way to get your dog to cooperate. Good girl, Bella. You're so good. Such a good girl.
normally I would blow dry them, but since this was such a nice weather day, I decided to let them air dry and I have to laugh at the look Bella was giving Sadie. Now I'm moving on to laundry and I've actually been doing a really good job of catching up on all the laundry and doing house cleaning throughout the week so it wasn't piling up on me as we got closer to our departure date. So I'm going to go ahead and wash the dog bed. I do that every time that I bathe them. That way they're not laying on a dirty bed. And here I'm just folding the clothes that were in the dryer. Once I have finished folding these clothes, I'm going to put them away and then move on to vacuuming and mopping the floors. And I always vacuum my floors before mopping just to pick up any dirt and grime that's on the floors. Okay, now to do my nails and I bought this nail kit a couple months ago. I did show it in a previous video, but it is the Gelin Gel Nail Starter Kit and I love using this gel polish. It literally lasts me for a good week without any chipping and it is so easy to use um, if you have ever tried a kit like this then you fully understand the convenience of this and saving so much money from not having to go to the salon so it comes with this lamp and the lamp is quite large let me pull it out of the box here as you can see it's quite large and you just put your hand under it and it triggers the lamp to come on but it has a 30 second setting a 60 second setting and it comes with all these nail polish colors here so i am going to use this color um i like it because it's a little bit on the brighter side this is 352 if you're interested in this kit or ordering this particular color um, and I will have the kit linked down below just in case anyone's interested in this or you can just simply type it um, in Amazon I did buy it on Amazon I think I forgot to mention that but just type in Jelen nail kit and there will be a bunch that will come up so uh, but they have a variety of different polish colors I'm actually gonna order more polish colors um, because these are very neutral pinks and beigey colors. I wanna add some other colors to the mix. But I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nails. I'm gonna start with the um, base coat. They, this kit also includes the base coat and a top coat. Okay, nails are done and I love the color. It's almost almost like a creamy white with a subtle, very subtle hint of peach, but I love it. It's very summery. Don't pay attention to my dry hands. <laughs> I am in dire need of some moisturizer, but again, I highly recommend this kit. My nails are good to go. Like I can go about my business now. They're all dry. I don't have to wait for, I don't know, it just seems like regular nail polish takes forever to dry. Here are the outfits that I will be packing. We are going to be um, at the Disney parks for four days. And then on the fifth day, we're just gonna chill and relax at the resort, which we are staying at the Beach Club Resort. So if you guys have ever stayed there, leave any uh, recommendations as far as where to eat or maybe what to do at the resort or what you thought of the resort. I'd love to hear any 
any recommendations, any advice that you can give, but I'll just do a little like quick little clothing haul and maybe do a try on a couple of these outfits to give you guys um, some summer outfit ideas. And then I do have some shoes that I'll go over the ones that I'm planning to bring. And, um, and yeah, so let's just get started with that. to be the 4th of July and it will be at the Magic Kingdom. So I wanted to wear something festive, obviously for the 4th. And I decided to just kind of do the red, white, and blue theme. So I have these blue jean shorts that I got recently from Target and I love these. I like how they're cut higher on the sides, if you can see. It's just more flattering and this is what the back looks like. But I think these were around $15. I'll try to link them down below because these are my new favorite jean shorts and I figured I would wear this top to go with it. This is from Shein a couple years ago and it has little ruffles on the side sides i love it to accessorize i actually have two options i have the mini ears which i'm definitely going to wear at some point i think these are adorable i got these from walmart recently i just came across them over the weekend actually and had to have them they were only five just over five dollars and for the price you just can't beat that so i'm definitely going to wear these with the outfit but i could also interchange the ears with this hat if i wanted to so that's going to be one outfit and then the next outfit or the next day i believe we're at the animal kingdom and since it is kind of more of a safari theme i thought i would wear these shorts they're high-waisted shorts and they're really cute because they tie at the top at the waist and um I just think that's adorable and so they're high-waisted and then for the top I'll just wear this basic um, tank top it's kind of more of a cropped tank top but since these shorts are high-waisted I can get away with that uh, but I thought that would be really cute and then as far as shoes and actually I forgot to mention with the first outfit another Walmart find that I came across were these adorable just basic white sneakers these were i think yeah 15 dollars for these and then they have like a little um gold detail on the back they're just so so cute so i think i will, will wear these with the first outfit and then with this more safari outfit i purchased a while back probably like a month ago or so these sandals from costco and these are by kenzie and I just thought they were so cute and they're very, very squishy, like super comfortable. I think these are going to be just fine to wear all day at the parks. I'm hoping I've not worn them yet. Um, so we will see how they work out, but I think these are going to look so cute with that outfit. Next for when we go to Epcot. I am planning to wear these little seersucker printed shorts. They have a little bow that ties at the waist and I love, I love the high-waisted shorts that have these kind of dramatic bows on them. I think it's so cute. And with these shorts, I'm just going to wear a basic v-neck t-shirt and the t-shirt, the shorts I got from Shein a while back and the t-shirt, I think this was from, and I honestly can't remember where this was from, but um, to, as far as shoes, I'll probably either wear the white sneakers with that, or another option are these Nike um, flip-flops that I, these I literally just got, I ordered them from Amazon, but the past two times that I have been to Disney World walking around the parks. I had a pair of Nike flip-flops that I absolutely loved. They were so comfortable. The first time I wore them um, to the parks that the second trip we made years later, I still had them and I knew I wanted to wear those again. And I did and they were again so comfortable but I've worn them so much they got really dingy looking and I had to just had to get rid of them so I was hoping to replace them with the same ones but I don't think they make that 
particular style anymore so I thought I would give these ones a try but they kind of have like a little um, I don't know what you call that on the sole of it so hopefully that's not uncomfortable I've worn them around the house and they feel comfortable um, but we will see how they wear long term but I do like how they're not you know they're made of a you know plasticky a rubbery material that's not going to um, it's easily washable. Finally, for Hollywood Studios, I'm planning to wear either these nude shorts, and they're really cute, actually. No, I don't know if it's picking up the detail, but they have this little um, detail on the pockets and a little tie at the front, and these are another Costco purchase. I haven't even worn these yet. I got these weeks ago, um, but they're so comfortable. They're made of like a linen, type material and I thought these would look really cute with this more cropped um, you know tank top and again these are high-waisted shorts so I'm not concerned with wearing a cropped I'm okay wearing crop tops when they don't look like cropped tops and when you're wearing high-waisted bottoms so I'll either wear this and with this I would probably wear the Kenzie the black Kenzie sandals or I will wear, I have another pair of those shorts in the black, um, so I, I could either wear the neutral ones or these black ones, and with the black ones I'll probably wear this um, white tank top. So that is what I'm thinking. Just a couple more items that I'm planning to bring, and these I purchased from Amazon. And I wore these on our last Disney trip. Actually, I wore some of these and my daughter wore some of them, but they are the Mickey ears and Amazon has a large selection of these. So if you're looking to buy more affordable Mickey ears, go check them out or check out Walmart for the patriotic ones. This was a steal. This was such a good buy um, at $6. I thought that was awesome. And they're very um, plushy. Kind of reminds me of, you know, the authentic um, Disney brand ears um, but here are the ones that I bought from our last or bought when we went to Disney last time so I really love I think this this pair definitely was my favorite I like the color of the bow um, and then there's also this gold pair with the pink bow really cute and then this one with the fuzzy ears and a pink bow so I'm definitely definitely going to bring these again and maybe this time I'll buy a real pair of Mickey ear ears directly from the park. But I just love wearing the ear the ears. I cannot talk today. The ears while at the, the Disney parks. It's just, I don't know, whenever you visit the parks, you just feel like a big kid. And if there's any time you can be a kid, it would be at Disney World. So that is what I'm planning to be to bring. Um, and another final item I wanted to share with you guys and this is going to be perfect for the long drive to Florida. Yes, we are driving and I got this recently. I ordered it off Amazon. They had other um, wording on it, other phrases you could, could order, but I ordered this one. I thought this was really cute and I liked how spacious it was. So I'll just use this to have like, you know, headphones, a book, snacks, whatever I want to have up front with me or whatever I need to carry. Um, for the kids for easy access. So yeah, I'll link this down below in case anyone's interested and um, I'll try to link if there, if I can find links to any of the clothing I'll leave links to those down in the description box as well um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and start packing and the way I pack my clothes is using the packing cubes and I have quite a few of them. I have these cute little um, lemon and grapefruit ones that I got from my FabFitFun box a while back. I have a larger one, medium sized one, and there's a smaller one somewhere around here. So I have this set and then I have this pink set, but these are such a lifesaver or I should say space saver when it comes to packing. They really compact your clothes and make it all neat and tidy and you can, you know, then you can organize your clothes, put maybe swimwear in one packing cube, you know, pajamas in another and daytime clothes, that kind of thing. So 
These are definitely, I highly recommend using these. You can order these on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'm gonna get to packing because I have a few more things to check off my list, but I feel so much better now that I have checked off quite a few things already and I think I'm in really good shape for the trip. But if you have any words of advice for the trip, rides to go on, places to eat, things to do, whatever it may be, leave your comments down below. I'm all ears. Even though we've been to Disney a couple times already, there is always something new to be learned. And this will be the first time we are staying at the Beach Club Resort. So if you've stayed there before and you have any advice, leave those comments down below. But um, again, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I have a bedroom makeover video that's coming out very soon here uh, when, once we get back from the trip. So stay tuned for that. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Take care.